Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. Today we're going to instruct you on how to begin your QuickBooks integration from Construction Suite by taking you through our QuickBooks Initial Setup Wizard. The QuickBooks Initial Setup Wizard can be accessed from an estimate, from the QuickBooks Integration tab, and then the icon on the far left that says QuickBooks Initial Setup. What the Initial Setup Wizard is going to do is essentially choose the way that your accounts and items are going to be created within QuickBooks when you send your Construction Suite estimate over, and also the types of accounts and items that you're going to create. You will also select the revenue account that you will be using and whether or not you would like to use items for invoicing, use class tracking, and other details as far as your QuickBooks settings are concerned. On the first page of the initial setup wizard, you will see that we have an option to select an account type. We have two default account types, cost of goods sold or construction work in progress. These will pre-select a few of our items and account types throughout the wizard for you. If you would like to choose your own custom settings, you can certainly select the custom option at the bottom. And that will allow you the flexibility to choose your own personal settings as you go through the QuickBooks wizard for integration with QuickBooks. In this case, we're going to go ahead and choose our cost of goods sold so you can see how that will populate some information throughout the wizard and select next. The first page we'll see in the wizard is the account setup. So these are going to be the accounts that are created in your chart of accounts within QuickBooks when you send an estimate over. On the left-hand side, you'll see that we have the option to choose our account's detail. Uh, the first option is whether or not we would like to use a parent account, which will sort all of your construction suite accounts as sub-accounts within your chart of accounts list under that parent account. Now the default name is UDA accounts for the parent account, but you can certainly give this whatever name you would like to. If you choose not to use a parent account, that's perfectly fine. Your accounts will just mingle directly on the same level as all of the other accounts you have in QuickBooks. You have options as far as creating a single account for all of your construction online expenses and costs. You have the option to create an account for each category in the UDA estimate, which are going to be our planning, foundation, framing, whichever ones you have tabs for in your estimate, or the option to create an account for each category and subcategory in the UDA estimate, which is going to be anything you will see on your project totals page. Once you've selected the level of detail, you have the option to choose the account type that's going to be created for each of these. Now you see here that we chose cost of goods sold on the first page, so expense is already selected for us, but we do have the option to choose a multitude of other uh, account types in the drop down menu here. And then finally, choose whether or not you would like to use class tracking. Construction Suite does have the ability to classify your items and subcategories as labor, material, subcontractor, equipment, or other. And this information can be sent to QuickBooks if you choose in order to enable class tracking. The next page is our item setup, and you'll see some very similar options as you would with the accounts. Uh, so first you can choose whether or not you would like to even use items. I do highly recommend using items because without using items, much of the functionality between the QuickBooks and Construction Suite integration will not be available. So once you've chosen to use items or not to, you can then choose whether or not you would like to use a parent item. And again, the default is UDA items list, but you can give this whichever name you would like. And this will again, sort all of your construction suite items in your items list in QuickBooks once you send your UDA estimate over. You then have two options, whether or not you would like to create an item for each category and subcategory, so everything on the project totals page, or create an item for each category, subcategory, and item in the UDA estimate. You can then select your item type, and again, by default, service is selected based on our choice of cost of goods sold on the first screen, but you can choose non-inventory, inventory, or other charge as well. And then you can select whether you would like to use items for invoicing within QuickBooks. On this screen, you'll see that we can choose our revenue account details, so we can give a revenue account name if we would like to reference both expense and income accounts. Again, the default is UDA construction payment, but you can change this to whatever you would like and then choose the account type. Once again, the cost of goods sold choice on the first screen has chosen income for us, but we can choose other current liability, long-term liability, or other income types if we would like. Once you select that, you can continue to the final screen of the wizard. You'll see here that this will show your new integration settings, and if you have done the initial setup before, it will show the previously selected items as well. That way you can compare and see what features you have changed, uh, what might be altered in your QuickBooks account from here on, and once you've reviewed this and made sure that everything looks good, make sure that you back up your QuickBooks company file first in case anything uh, doesn't come over as you would like it to. And that way you can just restore your company file, come back and change your settings in the wizard, and send it over again. Once you're done reviewing, you can click Finish. It'll let you know the QuickBooks setup has completed successfully. 
And now you are ready for QuickBooks integration.